guys, this is your pharmacist Sidra and welcome to Ask Your Pharmacist. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing some of the interviews of the pharmacists who are not just working but thriving in the pharmaceutical and health industry of Pakistan. Well, the whole reason of sharing these interviews is so you get an idea of pharmacist career choices in Pakistan and honestly, I really want you guys to see how pharmacists are thriving in Pakistan because scope of pharmacy is very very vast in Pakistan but unfortunately there is not a lot of awareness so a lot of people think that there is no hope for pharmacist career in Pakistan they don't see light at the end of the tunnel because their tunnel of hope is blocked by the society and peer pressure and I cannot emphasize enough that do not fall into that pressure I actually have a dedicated video of why you should become a pharmacist I'm gonna put a link to it up here somewhere so really one of the reason why I interviewed pharmacists working in Pakistan is so you can hear from them that how they feel about their career in Pakistan how they feel about their worth in the pharmaceutical and health industry whether they feel that they are being rewarded well they are respected well and are they worthy or not worthy so without any further ado let's look at these interviews assalamu alaikum this is dr omer i am regulatory pharmacist uh, the main responsibility of the regulatory pharmacists are obtaining the authorization of the medicines from our regulatory body and we are as a bridge between the medicine company and pharmaceutical company and between our regulatory body. So other our main uh, responsibilities are the clinical trials and the registration and the post marketing surveillance of the medicines. We can also obtain the licensing uh, of uh, our uh, industrial plants through uh, regulatory bodies. The other similarities and we are also functioning in the pharmacovigilance department. The pharmacovigilance department is that the, what we are assessment, we are doing the assessment and the monitoring of the drug areas, drug interactions in, uh, uh, in the field we, and whenever doctor prescribe any medicines and these medicines cause any drug interactions and areas. So we can monitor and assess the, uh, these areas and report to the relevant department. Through this, uh, the research and development department also working uh, very useful through, um, by obtaining these informations which is shared by the regulatory department. So there are a wider role of the pharmacists in the regulatory department. Uh, so uh, I'm, I, always, I always urge to the junior pharmacists to uh, visit, to take interest in the regulatory department. Thanks so much. Hello, my name is Ramadan Irfan Maktoum and uh, I am the pharmacist registered in Pakistan. Uh, I am working as a sales and marketing coordinator in RG Pharmaceutica and especially new business development. Today I want to uh, tell you about the representative field in Pakistan, especially uh, sales profession. Uh, the best thing is that pharmacist knows about the generic medicine and also about their mechanism of action. Uh, in sales profession, a uh, pharmacist is very successful if he is convenient and continuously work in this profession. Uh, the better example is that uh, I'm here as a uh, marketing coordinator. I worked uh, about four to five years in, uh, as a representative. Then I promoted in marketing field. In uh, Pakistan, mostly multinational companies support pharmacists in sales profession, while local companies hire BA, BSc uh, people, uh, which uh, cannot better interact with the doctors. Only pharmacists better interact with the doctor uh, because doctor only knows about the disease, but not uh, about the generic medicine. So uh, I want to uh, request all the companies in Pakistan that support uh, pharmacists in this profession as well. Uh, if I am uh, talk about the marketing field, uh, in marketing pharmacists uh, also successful because uh, he knows about the generic medicine as usual and uh, their mechanism of action and how it can develop because uh, uh, product development uh, also a subject uh, in pharmacy field. So uh, pharmacists uh, have uh, a better uh, future in Pakistan 
and uh, they can work uh, uh, with the lean and fees thank you so much hi i am amna ibrahim working as a tertiary care hospital as a pharmacist when you work in a tertiary care hospital you have a great responsibility to perform a very high duties as a clinical pharmacist also uh in pakistan when you have to work in a hospital sector you have to perform many duties duties like you have to interact with the patient and with the patient consultation with the physician and other many other staffs of the healthcare profession in this we also advise a physician uh, and other healthcare profession regarding the medicine the correct use of the medicine the correct dosage of the medicine and we also control the other misuse of the medicine so in hospital sector we also monitor the safe and effective use of medicine and also guide the patient uh, relatives regarding the how to use medicine and how to store the safe storage of the medicine and thank you so much hi myself dr maria and recently i'm working as a warehouse pharmacist because i'm interested in this management job so first of all there is a lot of task in warehouse like uh, receiving of materials and maintain its proper management and inventory and there is also proper dispensing of materials to the production department for its formulation and also verify physically all the materials and maintain all the documentations properly and then we convert all the transactions in sap So it was all about my job description as a warehouse pharmacist. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. I am Hina Ashraf. I am assistant quality assurance manager in RG Pharmaceutical. Today we discuss about the quality assurance. What is quality assurance? Quality assurance is a system that provide the quality against the standards. Now we discuss about the role of the QA in production or the manufacturing. And the role of the QA is the planning, data collection, reporting. documentation and evaluation now we discuss the objective of the qa the objective of the qa involves the managing of the gmp managing of glp managing of safety program and the assurance of the quality materials like raw material finished good and the packing materials assuring the quality of the finished product thank you so much assalam alaikum i am dr asad ali lodi i am working as a ph- pharmacist in the private company And there are twenty thousand, uh, more than twenty thousand pharmacists in the uh, Pakistan. And uh, if we talk about the f- uh, cost of the pharmacy uh, graduation, then it is about the point five million in the pri- uh, public universities, and one to uh, million to one point five in the private universities. And after graduation, pharmacist plays a role in the uh, industries, hospitals, clinical, community. सेल एंड मार्केटिंग डिपार्टमेंट एंड इन द टीचिंग डिपार्टमेंट एंड रेगुलेटरी डिपार्टमेंट एंड इफ वी टाक अबाउट द पब्लिक जॉब दैन फार्मासिस्ट गो टू दज ड्रग टेस्टिंग लैब एज अ ड्रग एनालिस्ट इन द ड्रग टेस्टिंग लैब एंड ड्रग इंस्पेक्टर इन द पब्लिक प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी हेल्थ डिपार्टमेंट एंड फेडरल ड्रग इंस्पेक्टर इन द ड्रग रेगुलेटरी अथॉरिटी ऑफ द पाकिस्तान इफ वी टाक अबाउट द बेसिक सैलरी स्ट्रक्चर फॉर फ्रेश ग्रेजुएट फार्मासिस्ट then uh, for the industries pharmacist it is about uh, uh, 20000 uh, per month and uh, in hospital pharmacist uh, hospital it is uh, uh, 30000 and in clinical uh, which is not uh, uh, practiced in the pakistan so uh, in regulatory and other div- uh, field if we talk about the uh, community pharmacy it is uh, the basic salary structure is a 35000 thank you so much all right guys so this is it for today's video i hope you guys got the idea of what the pharmacy career is like in pakistan i do have another video coming next week in which i talk in detail about the career options and career choices for pharmacists in pakistan and india so do look out for that and if you have any questions or video suggestions leave them in the comments or dm me and i shall see you next time with another awesome video on health pharmacy and beauty until next time take care bye